Okay. So next is we have the steps in conducting an experiment. So I'm not sure if you're already familiar since if you're doing experiment, familiar na kayo. If you're starting, so at least this is your guide. So state the problem of the study, formulate the hypothesis, define the data that you want to collect or this, define the responses that you want. No? And then devise the experimental design and then conduct the experiment. So again, before the conduct of the experiment, you really have to consult your statistician. Oh, what could be the appropriate design if I want, if my objective is this, if my research hy hypothesis is like this. Okay, so before the conduct, so hindi yung the other way around na from the, na, may data ka na tsaka ka nag-consult. Okay, so next, okay, again, experimental design concerns with planning experiments in order to obtain maximum amount of information from available source resources. Okay, so we need to have a good plan no, of our experiments to maximize no, your response. And then involves the assignment of treatments to the experimental units. So I think you already know that we have to randomize, no? We have this randomization of treatments. Now, so just to give you a picture of this experimental design, so take note that this experimental design has two structures. First is the design structure. The second is the treatment structure, okay? So, yun. So design structure is actually yun yung mga CRD, RCB, LSD. So, so that involves randomization and grouping. While this treatment structure involves the factors, so the number of factors or the combination of factors that we want to prepare. Okay, so treatment structure consists of the set of treatments, treatment combinations, or populations that the researcher has selected to study and or compare. So these are possible treatment structures, as you can see in the right-hand side. One-way treatment structure, factorial, factorial arrangement with one or more controls, nested treatment structure, or fractional factorial. Fractional factorial. So we will just focus on this one-way treatment structure, but this is very uh, no, uh, important, okay? And then if you already understand this one-way treatment structure, you can proceed. You can continue learning this other uh, treatment structure, the factorial or the fractional factorial or the nested. Okay, now another component again, okay, aside from this treatment structure, is the design structure. So the design structure refers to the grouping of the experimental units into homogeneous group or blocks. So this is where you, okay, as you can see, this is where you can see this uh, structures like CRD, RCBD, and LSD. There are also other structures like split plot, strip plot, and strip plot. You take note that they, this split plot can be combined with CRD or RCBD or strip plot with RCBD. But we will just focus on these first three because these are the yun nga, basic design structures, which can also be applied later when you have this uh, more complicated design structure like split, split plot like those. Okay, so try this. Okay. So we have the same example, the potato example I gave you. Wait. Okay, this one. Okay, so you are asked here, what is the treatment structure? Okay, since we are dealing with one factor with, which has these three levels, then we have one way as our treatment structure. Okay, now what is the design structure? Although you have not learned yet this design structure CRD, but this is actually uh, the randomization of different levels no, to the different experimental units. So as you can see, nag-randomize lang siya ng treatment applications dun sa experimental units. That's why the design structure here is the CRD. Okay, but we will learn more on CRD later. Okay, and then another example is this, again, the potato example, pero hindi lang sulfur application yung concern natin. We also have this other factor, the sprinkler irrigation use. So, which can have uh, this center pivot, uh, wheel line, and solid set. So, we have these two factors, and then we combine these two factors. So, that is actually factorial now. So, the treatment structure is factorial, but then the design structure is still CRD. Okay, since these different combinations of uh, different factors are randomly assigned to the different plots. 